The Headrush Prime doesn't just give you access to a ton of guitar and bass sounds, but you'll also get access to an entire suite of vocal effects, including the legendary Antares Autotune. I'm Al Joseph here with Headrush, and today I'm gonna to show you how to harness the vocal processing power of the Headrush Prime. Let's get into it. Headrush Prime has a combo jack on its rear panel that accepts XLR or quarter inch microphone connection. There's also a gain knob to adjust the input gain of your microphone. If you're using a dynamic microphone, all you need to do is plug in your mic and you're good to go. If you're using a condenser mic that needs 48 volt phantom power, you can turn that on from the audio page of the global settings menu. Creating a vocal rig is just like setting up one for guitar or bass. Tap the plus sign in the upper right of the screen and then tap this icon at the bottom of the screen to choose a vocal signal path. You can either do a straight path with just a microphone or a dual path for vocals and guitar or bass. Let's choose straight path for now. Just like with the guitar, we can double tap our input to see the incoming level. That incoming level can be adjusted with the mic gain knob on the rear panel. There are also gate settings and some EQ options including high pass and noise filters. Back on our rig page, let's add a vocal effect to one of these blocks. Just tap a block, tap vocal to see all the vocal effects, and let's start off with auto-tune. This isn't an imitation, Headrush Prime actually has Antares auto-tune built in. You can choose any key you want, Select the scale you want to be in. There are lots of options here. You can set the tuning speed to be as fast or slow as you need. Tracking, which helps auto-tune identify the pitch of a signal. 50% is usually a good setting for that, but you can turn it up for a more relaxed setting or down to be more choosy. There's a humanized control that can help you reduce the more robotic sound you get with faster retuning speeds. FlexTune affects how Autotune corrects the pitch of your singing. It can be useful for preserving expression. If you leave it at zero, then every note you sing will be pulled towards the target scale, while turning it up will make it so Autotune only corrects a note as you get closer to it in pitch. You can choose the audio type, tenor, soprano, low, and even instrument types. You can set your reference pitch, we're going to keep this at 440 hertz. Turn vibrato on or off, as well as vibrato rate, depth, tremolo depth, and delay. Basically, if you've used Antares Autotune before, these are all the same parameters you're already familiar with. Let's try a B major scale and try to make it sound natural. Set the key to B, scale to major. Let's start with our tuning speed at about 70. Tracking at 50, humanize at around 40, flex tune at 20, and keep vibrato off. Do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, do. So it's really easy to get a natural sounding tuning on your vocals, but you can also get that classic robotic auto tune effect. We'll keep our scale and key the same, but we'll turn the tuning speed all the way down so pitch correction is immediate. Turn up the tracking and turn off flex tune. Do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, do. So whether you're singing, playing guitar, or both, the Headrush Prime has all the tools you'll need to perform like a pro. I hope you found that helpful. I'm Al Joseph with Headrush. Thanks for watching.